this is the level 3 2016 electricity exam. For this video, I'll be working through question 2. <clears throat> question 2 the transformer. Um, transformers can be used to increase, decrease the size of an AC voltage. Um, Way is a transformer that is designed to convert 240 volts to 12 volts. Um, secondary coil has 40 turns. Calculate the number of uh, turns in the primary coil. So if you jump onto your formula sheet over here, we have N primary, if we can see that, equals divided by N secondary equals V primary divided by V secondary. So let's just write that down. N primary divided by N secondary equals VP VS. Calculate the number of turns in the primary coil. So we're trying to find NP. Um, NP is equal to VP over VS. And all we're going to do is just move this VS over to the other side. So we're going to times both sides by VS. And now it's just simply plug and chug. So plug some numbers in. Primary coil has 240 volts divided by 12 volts um, times 40 turns. And that's going to equal 800 turns. There we go. Right, explain how an alternating voltage across the primary coil um, creates an alternating current in a light bulb connected to the secondary coil. So let's just start with that. An alternating current, alternating uh, voltage, I'll just put voltage um, in the primary causes. Um, and alternating current, obviously, current in the primary um, this creates an alternating uh, spell that wrong alternating. Uh, magnetic flux, because it's magnetic flux. Magnetic flux um, in the core, which induces an alternating, alternating voltage. Voltage. In the secondary, secondary, missing an R coil, and thus an alternating, alternating current in the secondary coil. Turning that A there. Secondary coil. There we go. And you can talk about back EMS, but you don't really have to for transformers because it's not. Unless you're disconnecting the circuit, you're not really going to get a back EMF. It's just going to be flopping back and forward. Um, so, yeah. Um, you will get a little bit of a back EMF, but you don't need to worry about it. So, an alternating current, an alternating voltage generates an alternating current. This alternating current generates a uh, changing magnetic flux, which is basically just changing magnetic field um, inside uh, the core. So the iron core, if we can see that down there, it creates a flipping magnetic field. That there in turn um, generates a, a voltage, an induced voltage in the wire of the secondary. And then because you've got a, a flipping or an uh, alternating induced voltage you're going to get an alternating induced current and that's it right next question sketch a graph showing how the current in the coil changes when the switch is closed and then some time later when the time uh, when it's open so and give a comprehensive explanation for the shape of your graph right so we'll just draw the graph straight off the bat so initially the current when you flip the switch is going to go well if it wasn't if there was nothing there if there was just a wire um, it would just be a linear, it would just go straight up with time. So if it's just a wire, it would go straight up with time. Um, because you've got an inductor there, it, when you flip the switch, that generates a, 
a magnetic field which generates a, a back EMF which opposes the voltage. So EMF is just a voltage. It, it creates a voltage which opposes the voltage applied which then reduces how much current can actually flow and then as the changing magnetic field gets less and less and less um, the induced back EMF gets less and less and less um, and eventually your current just equals the supply current. So the graph looks something like this to begin with and then it just reaches its max current um, as if cause it is just a DC circuit. Yep, it's a DC circuit. Oh no, hold on, take that back. No, here we go. It's attached to a battery. Here we go. So big thing here, battery, DC circuit, and the switch is shown in the diagram below. So yeah, it's a DC circuit. So after a while, it just acts like a wire. Um, and then when the switch is opened, um, let's go back to that. There's no resistor in the circuit. There's no resistor whatsoever, um, which means when we open the switch, the current should just plummet because there's nothing really, there's nothing to use the energy. Sure, the wires will heat up, the, the magnetic field will collapse, um, but it, the collapse is basically instantaneous. So if we had a resistor in there, um, they would use the energy a little bit. So you'd still get a bit, a bit more current um, flowing. So if you had a resistor, it would look something like that. I just drew it in dotted, just so you know. Um, but because there's no resistor, it just collapses just like that. Um, right, so explanation. So initially, um, initially, uh, when the switch is closed, is closed. This is this. Oh, there is there is a rapid um, increase in current. Um, full stop. This. I suppose changing current, changing current generates generates a changing magnetic flux. Ooh, that was an ugly. F oh, you can sort of see it. No, you can't. I'll do that. Generates a changing magnetic flux, um, which in turn. Um, creates a back EMF, EMF basically just a backwards voltage which opposes um, the change in current, so it's a change in current. Um, this can be seen by the, uh, seen, can be seen this can be oh, whoops, seen by the uh, gradual increase, gradual increase um, in I. Be a lot steeper if there wasn't an inductor there. Um, <clears throat> right. So when current is max. Put in capital I for max just because I'm lazy, but you shouldn't really. Um, there is no changing flux because you get no changing magnetic field because the current's stable uh, because um, current becomes uh, constant. So there is no back EMF. There is no back EMF. EMF to oppose the current. Oppose the current. Right. When a switch is opened um, the current 
Uh, what are we doing? No, 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 yes. Ceases. Ceases, which means stops. Ceases to flow. So the current drops. Oh, drop is for all intensive purposes. Intensive purposes. How do you spell purposes? I'm guessing it's OS. I think I've spelled that wrong. I know I've spelled that wrong, but I don't know how to spell it. Um, instant. I forget how to spell it. To zero. Oh, that's really about it. So, because you've got no resistor in there, basically it just drops straight away to zero. Um, practically speaking. In reality, there'd be a little bit of a lag, but you don't really worry about that. Right, next one. Calculate the energy stored in the primary coil's magnetic field when the switch has been closed for several seconds. So that's basically when the current's gone max. Um, otherwise, it'd be a little bit different. Battery voltage, we got that. Resistance, we got that. Inductance. So let's just jump onto our formula sheet here. Big E for energy is half the inductance, big L for inductance, um, times the current squared. So let's just write that down. E equals half L I squared. We don't have I, but we know I, V equals I R, or I is equal to V over R, um, which is always the case. We've got V, yep. We've got the resist resistance, yep. So we've got everything we need. So E is equal to half. L times I'll just put V over R squared, which is equal to 0 0.5 times what's inductance? 0 0.1 times 6 over 35 bracket squared. Plug that into your calculator, and that'll give you 1.47 times 10 to the negative 3 joules, or how many SFs have we got? 2 SF. Um, for the 35 ohms, so it needs to be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 joules.